Welcome back to Bonding Over Bourbons. I'm Chris. And I'm Kat. And this week, we're doing another bottle haul for the month of April. Uh, this one was a little more modest than last month. Yes, we didn't go over the top like we did for March. <laughs> yeah, uh, fun video. If you haven't seen it before, we'll drop a card right here. Uh, plenty of goodies there. Uh, this time around, not as much allocated stuff, but some pretty cool things to find. Um, we found some of these in some of our videos, which we'll put title cards throughout uh, this video. Um, but first, let's kick off with just a couple updates. Um, thank you so much for our new followers and subscribers. Thank you for all the comments, the likes, the shares. We really, really appreciate yes, it. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, it helps the channel so much. And we have a, a couple of new things in the works. Uh, Kat, do you want to start with the first one? Yeah, first up is our Instagram and TikTok are actually up and running right now. So that's super great. So there is a link in our profile if you want to give us a follow we would love that there's everything from like updates for like our bottle hauls uh places we've been like things we drink a bunch of cool things that are going to be on the instagram yeah and that's going to be updated like pretty currently like these videos do take a little bit of time to film and edit and everything um for instagram it's more top of mind like if we're going out to whiskey bars or yeah. like uh cool stuff that we're finding in the news like uh the new um granddad uh old granddad 16 years coming out yes um let Very us say yeah let us know on uh, on our page what you think uh when you see stuff we'd, we'd love to hear your thoughts um in terms of some other stuff uh we are uh, gonna be putting out a patreon soon mm -hmm. um, we do have a survey currently out but yes uh so let us know your thoughts on the poll that we have up if for whatever reason the options don't represent what you want to see just let us know in the comments uh we'd love to hear all your feedback and make sure we're making the kind of content that you want to see yes and then last up we are very close to hitting our 500 Super subscribers yes yeah, so close i think we're off by just a few few hundred so once we hit that 500 we're gonna do a live stream so there'll be a bunch of goodies in there some things we haven't opened before and it'll be a really fun live stream yeah and if there's anything that you have in mind just let us know again below in the comments and we'll do our best to um, kind of make everyone happy with the video uh, so without further ado let's yep. move into this month's haul yeah let's do it first one this is a goodie it is a goodie it's like a toasted marshmallow yeah like, just like a nice campfire taste in one. Yeah, so for those that don't know, uh, for the old Whiskey Row series, Old Forster does a ton of different expressions. This one is their toasted barrel, um, which you can get year round, um, give or take some markets. Uh, but yeah, for 50 ish dollars to get a toasted barrel that you can find year round is kind of unheard of. Yes. Yeah, so uh, this is a staple in our collection for that reason alone. Yeah, and it's also, I think this is the beginning of our haul from our Evanston video yeah, as well. All right. Yeah. So this one was actually like a nice find, just like, you know, the, the owner was like a super cool guy. We just really wanted to support his liquor store. So yeah. why not pick up something that's already a steep? Yeah, exactly. Something we know we're going to love. Uh, next one is a new one here. Uh, so this is Pingree. Uh, this is a five-year uh, distillate coming out of Detroit. Um, the story is about Mayor Pingree and like the impact that he had on um, the city that he was running. Uh, this one, five years for about fifty dollars, is a pretty good deal. Um, this one has a lot of flavor in it. Yeah, um, I think the note card when we were at Vinny said Stroopin Waffle. Yeah. And for those who don't know what Stroopin Waffles are, they're a um, they're like a wafer type of cookie with a caramel inside of it. It's native to um, the Netherlands. And once we saw that, we're like, all right, we're all in and stoop a waffle. It's also a flavor you'll see a lot at Trader Joe's. So yeah, Trader Joe's. <laughs> Trader Joe's. There's the, the Midwest pluralizing everything. Uh, yeah, it's it's really really good. Uh, we really like it. It was a nice surprise. But that moves us to another really cool thing that we found. Um, we like Irish whiskey. We don't get a ton of it. Um, so this was like a nice kind of splurge for us. Uh, the bottle is very beautiful. It's um, gorgeous. It's got a lot going on. It definitely was eye catching with uh, the packaging. Yeah, and they're nice enough to put like uh, notes of the nose, uh, the taste and the finish. This one is Japanese chestnut finish, mm -hmm. uh, which is a little on the softer side. Uh, it's absolutely delicious. Um, the first pour did have a little bit of graininess on it, um, but that definitely has kind of opened up over time. Yeah. 
but yeah, uh, really good, really good stuff uh, and new. We like new. I think the next one is one that we've been recommended so many times to pick up. And now that they're doing their own distillate as well at Hard Truth Distilling, this one was one that we just had to pick up. And it's such a cool bottle. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so thank you for our followers that have given us uh, beautiful comments for stuff that we should try. Um, you know, we kind of get stuck in our own lane a little bit with our usual things, and it's nice to get a second yeah. opinion. Yeah, just kind of branch out a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. And next, this moves into one of our other video halls. I believe this was uh, Wisconsin? Yes, our Wisconsin at Woodlands, which is what we have in our glass right now. Yeah, uh, it's absolutely delicious. We are huge, huge fans. The nose is so nice. Yeah, and we scored this one for a price of like $54. It was crazy cheap. In at Whitman's. I was so surprised. So that was definitely one that we needed to pick up for our collection. Yeah, we've seen this at like 70 plus dollars. So to get it for 54 is a really good deal. For sure. Yeah, it's good things over. Yeah, absolutely. You got to make more rain here. Uh, so next up, this is another one from our Wisconsin Hall. Uh, you may or may not be familiar with Middle West Spirits already. I make really cool, very unique stuff. They're from Georgia, right? Uh, no, this is uh, Ohio, oh. I believe. Oh, yes. Yeah, Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, um, so really good stuff. This one we've been looking for for a while, but they just don't have it in the Chicago market for yeah. whatever reason, or it's always gone. We're always like the last to get it here in Chicago. Yeah, a Chicago and sometimes Kentucky, but that's usually with their own juice, yeah. which is either here or there. You know. But but yeah, so this one is a dark uh, rye, or dark pumpernickel rye, which mm -hmm. we're all about those flavors and the breadiness. So this is one we can't uh, wait to crack open. Mm -hmm. And then the last find that we had at the Woodman's was right behind the counter. I know, it was such a surprise. I did not expect Woodman's to have like, and the, of course this is like the lower tier of like allocated products, but this was a surprise. And then we also saw the Screaming Titans from Redwood Empire. Redwood Empire yeah. The barrel strength too, I the think. barrel strength, yeah. They had a ton of cool things. I kind of regret picking up the Screaming Titans, but it's, it's yeah. okay. <laughs> they, they told us that they had like 10 more bottles behind there and we didn't film the, the counter because there's a lot going on and we didn't want to put anyone on the spot. So we just, yeah. uh, we grabbed this one before we left. Yeah, and I also saw like Fortuna the, the other time yeah. I went there, which I was super surprised both of the variations and just like from what I can tell stellar product yeah absolutely um, and again somebody pointed out in the comments not a single Buffalo Trace product was there yet somehow they got this guy yeah. so so they get Sazerac but probably not Buffalo Trace yeah so I don't know and whatever they're doing they're doing it right and yeah just like 1792 they have cases of so it's probably the only reason why they get it yeah um, let's move these back a little bit to make space for the next row here uh, all right, so now this moves into our trip into Raleigh. Um, so I'm still getting over my sinus infection from Raleigh, but yeah, was able to taste some of these things. <laughs> yeah, go going from like real cold, like Chicago winter, spring, to spring winter. <laughs> yeah, into like seventy plus days is like a little, little hard on. Oh, yeah, our sinus tracks here. Um, but yeah, so this first one is uh, a recommendation from somebody we met in Raleigh. Mm -hmm. uh, this was from James and Jessica. We met them at an ABC store and they put us on a conviction. We're a little confused by the label itself because it says small batch and it also says barrel strength. Um, but it has all the buzzwords, sour so batch. Pretty. Uncut, unfiltered. It does have every single buzzword that you can possibly think of. Yeah, except for an H statement. Yeah, uh, H statement and it's not woman owned and it's not... <laughs> There's yeah. a few things. Yeah, it doesn't say organic, but it has yeah. basically all the check boxes. Um, it is 102 uh, proof as well. It definitely didn't taste 102. No, it didn't. It's it's kind of like a, I would almost say like a date cake. Yeah. Like a sticky date cake. Yeah, and this one um, is from like a repurposed prison, uh, hence the name Conviction. But yeah, it was really cool. It was a nice, pleasant surprise. We cracked it open on our trip, and as you can see, we uh, we didn't enjoy it at all. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, yeah, the next one was also a recommendation from James and Jessica. Uh, thank you so much again. Uh, this was Southern Star. Um, so they used to be MGP. 
Now they're making their own distillate. Um, check the back of the label. Always make sure yes. what you're getting. It is on the back of the label if you are interested. Yeah, so this is a uh, weeded whiskey. I believe this is the cast drink. No, this Blue is just, so yeah, this is their bottle and bond wheat whiskey. Um, as you can see, it won double gold at San Francisco, and then it also won uh, best bourbon overall. Um, as far as we know, this doesn't get a lot of distribution. I've never seen it up north. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've never looked for it as well. So maybe That's true. we might be seeing it now. <laughs> yeah, really good stuff. Uh, definitely recommend it. If you can find it in your market, give it a shot. Uh, of course, if you can find it at a bar, try it first. Uh, this is one we did not get on camera. Uh, but it is delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been searching for this one for a while. There's a local spot that was voted like the best bar for industry people in the restaurant industry. And they had it at like a cheap price. We tried it for like $10. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah, it ridiculous. just it just doesn't drink like any barrel proof rye that we've had. It's incredibly soft. It does still have a rye burn to it, but like we paid a hundred for it. Mm -hmm. it like. Ten, a little higher. Ten, ten dollars for ten years, kind of the average that we've all just kind of accepted. Um, but yeah, really, really good stuff. Um, if you can find it, buy it for sure. Mm -hmm. Especially if you like rye whiskeys or like ryes that kind of drink bourbony, yeah. like like a Michter's Barrel Proof or something like that. This isn't. This is not a replacement for that because it's still allocated. But it is a nice substitution. Yes, definitely. And then the next one is actually your pride and joy. This is one that's been on Chris's list for a long time they've been collecting for probably how long? three years ish four. four years and at least we've been we've been connoisseurs before that yeah it's connoisseurs but we never stockpiled we would just buy a bottle drink through it get yeah. another one and like this is one that i've been searching for for what seems like forever mm -hmm. um i've been i tried this like maybe 10 years ago eight years ago something like that uh and immediately fell in love with it and i was disappointed to find out it doesn't exist like they stop production I, I had lots of naysayers telling me that I'd never find yeah, I'd it never find it yeah and that it was so funny we're at the ABC store and the person mm -hmm. yeah in clean and that the person working there she was like yeah like when it's available like we get it in the store and we're like what yeah they're like we're they, told that it doesn't exist yeah, they're like oh yeah they just tell us what we can order and then we order it and I was like what <laughs> are you crazy um, so we picked up quite a few. This is definitely more my interest than cats, but uh, yeah, we, we picked up enough for quite a long time. Yeah, I'm also always into traveling with like a, a plastic one, so yeah. much easier. So you can just like <laughs> drop this and you don't have to worry about yeah, it. I'm not super worried about breaking it compared to like some glass bottles. Yeah, the traveling with uh, bottles is always a little tricky. Yes. Um, that's why you pack more shirts than you need so you can roll up. <laughs> Uh, that is not guidance, that is just our method. Yeah. Um, next was a really cool thing. This one was really cool. I think this, when we were going through all the different ABC stores, this kept catching our eye over and over. The yeah. bottle is insanely gorgeous. Yeah, there's so much detail on it. So much detail and like... See, there's a seal on the back of it for like the Whiskey Society and they have it on the top as well. Even the bottom has yeah. like the detail as so, well. I don't think that's shown up in frame. But either way, yeah. It looks like a little genie bottle, which yes. I love. And we just kept seeing it and I think like we quickly just Googled it. It was a half an hour away from Raleigh. So we're like, let's go and check out their distillery. So they were the most friendly people. Yeah. We <laughs> like so kind. If you want like a really good experience, they are like the distillery that I would say, like go check them out. And we tried five different pours, six, six different pours. And this one really stood out because it had like the, this like interesting kind of like bell pepper taste to it. Nice cigar. A cigar, which I've never tasted in like a whiskey. I was like, all right, let's 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 do this. We've had things that try to kind of emulate that, like yeah. Dirty Men's does like more leather yeah. and saddle, leather and like tobacco-ish, but like this was just so different. And for those that are interested, this is batch number 13. Uh, at the moment, we had 269 uh, followers. So this is bottle number 269, which just felt synonymous just think, yeah. um, with our journey. Uh, but yeah, everything that they make is really cool. There's more about this in our video at the uh, North Carolina hunting video uh, at the very like 
like middle to end portion. Please check it out. Uh, if you go there, please let them know that we sent you. Uh, really, really nice place, really cool people. Can't say enough. I could, but I will cut the rest short. Yes. Um, okay, so the next couple are things that we have like kind of tasked uh, one of our good friends with, uh, my buddy Sam. If you're seeing this, thank you again so much. Sam. Really appreciate it. Um, he went down to Austin and just picked up a, uh, a number of things that we just can't get or we've heard a lot about either from our recommendations yes. of our viewers. Or and I think that's the next one. It yeah, was blues yeah. that like kept getting recommended to us over and over. Like three, yeah. four people, I think. And we're like, we can't get it up in Chicago. Yeah, so this is uh, Rebecca Creek. This is a Spanish oak. Um, from what I understand, this is like virgin Spanish oak, but it still has like some notes of sherry from what we've heard. We haven't cracked it open yet because there's so much to go. Yeah, through. there's a lot. Um, yeah, like we're super excited to try this one. It seems like it's going to be very interesting and very cool. And I want to see what different oak expressions mm -hmm. do a whiskey. Indeed. Yeah, this is big in the Texas market. We haven't found it anywhere else, really. And funny enough, on our last trip to Texas, we saw this everywhere. Maybe not this expression, but we were like, we don't know anything about it. Yeah. It seems kind of like a gamble. Sometimes the bottle is deceiving because it looks nice. But, uh, Traveling with that bottle would have been yeah. a little difficult. It's super awkward. <laughs> and two like carry-ons were just like, I don't know about that. Yeah, we also found like the, the giant Weller size and we're like, okay, one big bottle is enough yes. uh, to, to bring through TSA. Um, then that moves to another thing this one we also found let's move these just a little bit this one we found at one of our binnies and we just decided to um give it a shot um one of our um wonderful uh store people uh aaron mm -hmm. uh aaron if you're watching thank you for putting us on to this uh slight correction we said it wrong in our review it is monogahila Manangahila. Manangahila. We've been saying it wrong this whole time. Yeah. We thought we were saying it right. Oh no. I'm sorry. Oops. Um, we are not Pennsylvanians, but we are into Pennsylvanian rye apparently. <laughs> um, I, at first, I think it was very underwhelming that first crack we were just like i don't know about this i would go the opposite direction and say it was over <laughs> it, it did have like a lot of graininess coming from the uh the malt that they use it's about 20 percent um and it was really really hot um just like a fresh crack of like yeah. scotch um but then we gave it 24 hours and it was absolutely delicious it started to like kind of smooth out yeah. it was easier to drink yeah. yeah and if you want to know more about it we have a review for it we'll put title card somewhere somewhere up here or down here yeah wherever those title cards go yeah i'll put it right here um <laughs> next one this is just a staple in our house this one so it's a little underwhelming but for depending on the state you're in some people would fight you i know so I, that's why i'll take it back like major zero if you're watching <laughs> i'm sorry like I know that it's hard to get in some states, but we have it like literally everywhere here in Chicago. It's, it's at Costco. I know. And then I was at the Costco in Kenosha or like Prairie Pleasant, wherever I was. And it was $19. I was yeah. like, to, all right, okay, I'm going to get this. It's the cheapest I've ever seen this. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> and Kat was like, do we need it? I'm like, and we're all like, we're out of it. $19, come on. Like you really can't beat it. Um, so we have two more here uh, to wrap up this video. Um, so next is IW Harper. Um, so this one is kind of an old staple for one of the jobs I worked at. Um, this was like the number one bestseller. It's just, it's sourced. Rumor is it's having hill juice. Um, I wasn't able to confirm that, but it is what it is. Um, so this is a 15 year whiskey. Uh, I believe it's a high rye. Um, it's absolutely delicious. We got it for like 70 bucks ish, which again, $10 for that for year. Like yeah. that's a really, really good value. If um, we tried a pour of it when we were in Raleigh, already knowing that we were getting this bottle, yeah. but, um, Sam and we were like, all right, we made the, the right choice. Like, yeah. Tasty. And like, <laughs> we had this a long time ago, but we, just, for, we forgot about it. So sometimes it's good to refresh your palate and see what it's like. Uh, all right, we have one more here. You got to move the train along. Move in. 
Okay, so this is this is my other white whale. This is one I've been looking for for a long time. Yes. All right. So probably in every other market besides ours, especially in the South, JT Mellick is like the newest thing that everyone's talking about. We just don't get it here. Um, so if you don't know, it's 100% rice whiskey, um, which we are all about. Um, yes. We found some Japanese whiskeys that are absolutely delicious. They're 100% rice grain. Some people call them like snake oil salesmen or whatever, but they're just so good. Um, they- it, yeah. And just like pack in so much flavor because the rice really like absorbs every part of the the barrel yeah and for whatever reason they end up tasting way older than they actually are like i believe it t- this one tasted really dusty it did and it could depend on like the the area that it's aging to like i mean if you're in a hotter region it's gonna age faster like louisiana Louis- yeah <laughs> yeah um yeah so hotter climate usually leads to better product uh that's where we're excited for some of these like the rebecca creek and this one we got this from our buddy Sam. Um, we already opened it and tried it. This is a store pick that's single barrel cash strength at uh, ooh, 60.85%. Ooh. Uh, I tell you what, it does not taste that It high. doesn't. Yeah, we tasted it. We're like, and we are a little bit of pre found, but it was our first pour. And I think that it drank like a little like smoother than yeah. the yeah it is absolutely delicious um but yeah i believe that's yeah that's it uh so again still a nice collection a little more modest than last month uh mostly just focusing on stuff we can't get we've never seen before stuff that's like impossible to find cheap um i think also like doing the hunting videos definitely gets us out of our like comfort zone rather than just getting like the same kind of bottles over and over it really Gives us the ability to explore all of these different kind of flavors and brings new life to our hobby. Yep. But yeah, uh, so if there's anything that you see here that you'd like to watch a review, um, this great opportunity for the Patreon. Uh, we've been told that some people want to see more reviews and yes. some whiskey history. So any of these, any one of these that you yeah, see. Yeah, please comment yeah. hello. Let us know. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And again, subscribe for more content like this in the future. So thank you so much for watching. We look forward to making more stuff like this for you soon. See you later.